What is up, YouTube? Back again, Stilly Nation, with another video here. Uh, another training day recap. Training camp recap, not training day. Another training camp day recap, I guess it would be. The Sunday Fan Fest. Family Fan Fest, I believe it was called. Uh, I didn't personally enjoy it, so I'll give you a quick review of that. It was kind of like Fan Blitz a little bit, but more unorganized and chaotic and uh, it just they didn't have enough concessions open they, I don't know if they, I think they gave away too many tickets too many people came uh, they didn't have enough concession stands open my son waited in the line for 45 minutes for a drink and a pizza after 45 minutes so 50 minutes I went over and got him he was only halfway through the line and uh, I was like this is ridiculous we're not waiting another 50 minutes on pizza so uh, I mean if you really if you go there and you don't want to buy drinks and you don't want to buy pizza and you don't want to get autographs and you want to just go to strictly watch them practice I guess that this would be the practice for you because you get to sit in the stands you get a nice seat you can see the whole field you get to see everything you got you got the screens up there if you can see a good start shot the screens are up there it gives you that feeling of a of a home game if you don't get to go to those so I could see some people liking it for that aspect but for me I go to obviously chase autographs uh, have the encounters with players get to meet them and talk to them uh, that's more what I go for so it wasn't my cup of tea so I, I would if you're going to chase autographs and and be up close with the players and, and do all that I suggest you go to St. Vincent or the Trail High School for any of those activities and you'll have a better time I believe but anyway enough about that so uh, as a recap of that night I got zero autographs uh, at the family fun fest event in, at Heinz Field I uh, believe, as far as, to my knowledge, Antonio Brown was like the only person to sign. I could be wrong. If you know anything different, drop it in the comments. But as far as I know, he was the only one to sign that day. But anyway, let's jump into it. This will be uh, day five at training camp. This is at St. Vincent. Got James Conner, full-size helmet. Got him right there. I did get... Uh, Munchak and Haley on the back of this. I was going to get coaches on the back, players on the front. Connor signed it pretty big there. So I end up erasing Haley and Munchak. As you can see, they're no longer there. Took them off the helmet. And I'm going to use this as a rookie class helmet. So I think uh, the way he signed it will be perfect. You can get five signatures on there or whatever I need and get the whole rookie class. I think that's going to be my project with this helmet. Uh, so that's where I'm going to go with that one. And we got Big Ben again. I was able to get this Blaze helmet done. Steelers Blaze helmet, which I really, really like these. Got the Blaze mini helmet done. Came out awesome. And my son got this done for me. Roethlisberger, Miami of Ohio jersey. Get the throwback Nike authentic jersey. I uh, gave him silver to get it signed on the number. Ben was only really signing in black sharpie. He had his black sharpie and he was just going. And that's all he was signing with. So he kind of lit it up right there. I kind of, it's one of my pet peeves, honestly. I hate, I hate jerseys that are not signed on the numbers. Um, drives me nuts. And I hate multi things, multi things signed by, uh, and different colors. I guess that drives me nuts too. There's a lot of things that drive me nuts. I guess I'm picky when it comes to autograph. Me and a buddy of mine were at camp and we're talking about things. We, we don't like when people wear autograph stuff. It drives us nuts. And people that say, for instance, get a Heath Miller sign, jersey signed by James Conner. It just doesn't make sense. Like I don't know what them people think. But anyway, enough ranting and raving about that. That's the Roethlisberger. But for, you know what? For a black Sharpie on a white jersey, it came out pretty nice just not my you know it would have popped real nice with a silver on that black uh and we got this uh big ben sign sports illustrated some got that done too super bowl champions edition sports illustrated been hit it up in the middle there and we got 
James Conner on a pit helmet. And he lit that up real nice. Perfect signature on that pit helmet. That blue really pops on that pit. I'm glad I went with that. And that's the recap for today. So uh, for for camp at day five, you got James Conner full size, Ben Roethlisberger Blaze, James Conner Pitt, Ben Miami of Ohio Authentic Jersey, and we got the Ben Sports Illustrated. This is probably going to be my last day at camp. So this will probably be, and you know, I went to camp five times this year, so it's probably going to be my last one. I go back to work. Uh, so it's probably going to be it for the camp autographs. So I'll try to get this uh, TSE just released uh, signing for the rookies. So I'll probably get a bunch of those added to this helmet to go along with James Conner. So anyway, let me know what you think of my recap. Let me know how you're doing at training camp if you got to go. Hopefully you get anything. Uh, and if you have any uh, videos, please post them below. I'd like to check yours out as well. Hopefully you're having a good time at camp and getting some good autographs. That's my camp recap for this time. Hope you enjoyed it. All right, have a good one, Stellar Nation. Make sure you like the video, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have a good one, y'all.